In this video, we'll go over managing basic file settings for DDP files. For this example, we've already run our DDP and have our output PDF ready, so let's open it up. The first three pages contain our proposal document, and the fourth page contains our sales quote document. Now let's say the user wants to change these settings. The user wants the proposal to be optional, meaning when she runs the DDP, she wants to decide whether or not to include the sales proposal. In addition, she also wants to limit it to just the first two pages and exclude the third page of the proposal. Finally, she only wants the sales quote to be included when the stage name is equal to prospecting. These settings can be managed on the DDP page in the Select File Settings. So if we navigate back to the DDP and go down to the Select Files section, we can make some basic changes to our files. When a document is uploaded to a DDP, it is automatically required to be included in the output document, but we have the ability to change these settings. Because the user requested that we change the sales proposal to be optional, we're going to change it from required to optional. Now, there will be a checkbox available in the DDP Visual Force page for the user to decide whether or not to include the sales proposal at runtime. The next thing we're going to do is select the end page as two, because the user wants to exclude the third page of the sales proposal. Now only the first and second page of the proposal will be included in the output document. The third thing we'll do is make the sales quote advanced based on the opportunity stage name. In order to do this, we'll first need to grab our opportunity stage field name from the field tagger. So we'll open the field tagger, choose opportunity as the main object, and choose stage as the field. Then we'll copy the field tag, select options on our sales quote document, and then select advanced in the drop down menu. A menu appears with evaluation criteria, so we're going to set the criteria by pasting that field tag we copied into the data field and typing prospecting in the value field. So according to the criteria we've set up, the sales quote is only going to be included if the opportunity stage name equals prospecting. If we wanted, we have the option to change the if statement to excluded if, and we also have a number of other options to change the criteria of equals to does not equal, starts with, ends with, contains, does not contain, is less than, is greater than, is less than or equal to, and is greater than or equal to. So once we're satisfied with the criteria we've put in place, we'll click OK and save. Then we'll navigate back to the opportunity record and click the button to run our DDP. Immediately, we'll notice that the sales proposal is optional and that it's limited to the first two pages. So let's run this DDP as a download, get our output PDF, and open the file. We see we have the sales proposal, which is only two pages long, and a sales quote since the opportunity stage was prospecting. Now let's navigate back to the opportunity detail page and change the stage name to needs analysis. Now that the stage name is no longer prospecting, the sales quote will not be included in the output document when we run the DDP. So let's run our DDP one more time by clicking generate documents clicking the checkbox to include the sales proposal, and running the DDP as a PDF download. Now, if we chose not to include the proposal, we would get an error message. This would happen because the stage name is not equal to prospecting, so a sales quote would also not be included. Therefore, an output document could not be created because there is no data. So once we click Run and open our output PDF, we'll see there's only two pages of the sales proposal and no sales quote. To learn more about managing your file settings, visit our support site for further information.